Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm going to review some more curly hair products. Now this brand I saw at Target all the time basically because I'm a sucker for cute packaging and I loved how the bottles looked and I finally got my hands on it. So today we are going to review the brand called Curls. Oh yes, I've seen this on Instagram all the time. A lot of my curly girlfriends already pre-approved this so I wasn't that nervous to try it but I wanted to try all of these at the same time. So in this video, I'm going to be washing my hair with the cleanse, then I'm going to be using their hair mask as my conditioner, and also kind of like a deep conditioning treatment. And then I'm going to put in the leave-in conditioner and then end it off with the curl control jelly. So let me break these all down one at a time. Starting with their shampoo, this is the Berry Bliss Reparative Hair Wash. It says it's rich and creamy, sulfate free, cleanser guaranteed to soften the driest curls. Oh, you know what? I'm glad that I read that because it actually tells me a lot, which I will get into. Um, hydrate the driest curl and encourage healthy scalp and hair growth. Hmm, all y'all want that hair growth, so that's good. Now I'm actually gonna show you how I apply this to my hair in the shower, but let me tell you, this stuff right here, it smells like cotton candy, like blueberry cotton candy. Just a big bottle of candy all up in your hair. It smells so good. And I think I have to say, that this is my new favorite smelling line. If you do like the sweet stuff, you're gonna love this. I love the very fun candy smell it has. So that is the shampoo, which I will show you in the shower. The second thing I did was, the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. Now, at first I didn't really know what to do with this, but one thing I do love about this brand is that they actually give you great directions on the back that tell you how to use it and when to use it. So the directions say, cleanse your curls with the Berry Bliss Wash, which is what I just showed you. Then you rinse and then you apply this hair mask to wet hair. Leave on for 15 minutes in the shower or 25 minutes for deep conditioning. So I love that it tells you when and where to use it. So you're gonna use your shampoo, then I put this on as my conditioner, let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I rinsed it out. So this is going to be oh, another great smelly one. This one actually even smells even better than the shampoo. Like this one is straight up cotton candy. It smells so good and it's a very thick, I don't want to tip it, but very thick, creamy consistency that really got my hair super moisturized and I will show you that in the shower as well. Then once I got out the shower, I did a leave-in and a jelly. Now you guys know I usually like to do one styling product, but I mean, they look like they're buddies. I wanted to try them together. I will be trying these individually, of course, later on. So make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can see the day where I just use the leave-in on its own or the jelly on its own. And let's see how they do solo. Now, just like the entire line, it says that there is no sulfate, silicone, parabens, artificial oils, colors, or fragrances. I love how that is right here on the front and it goes for all of their products. So the leave-in conditioner says that you can use it on wet or dry hair. I put it on damp hair right when I got off the shower, which you will see. And then I applied the jelly last. So the control jelly, what do you say you're gonna do? Defrizz, define, hold, and create curls in a place with impeccable sheen. I will vouch that it made my curls very shiny. This is my day two hair, by the way. I like to see how it looks on day two, so I film on day two and day one so you guys can see the comparison. But even on day one, my hair was super shiny. So for those of you that write me saying that your hair is dull, it lacks shine, these really did that for me. I really gotta say I love the directions on these bottles. It says day one, apply the jelly to freshly cleansed hair, conditioned hair while it's still wet. Then it even says day two. This brand knows about our day two curls. It's a thing, it's very important. So it says on day two, refresh your curls with Lavish Curls Moisturizer. Is that you? I don't know if I have the moisturizer. Um, and then reapply the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly as needed. Now, on my day two hair, I just used a little bit more of this and some water, and that is how I got these results. I don't even have the moisturizer, but my hair was so moisturized from yesterday's whole deep conditioning cleanse, I really didn't need any more moisture. So I just used a little bit of this, and here we are. So without further ado, let me hop back in time to me in the shower where I will show you the shampoo, the hair mask, applying the leave-in conditioner, and the jelly. 
Alrighty, let's wash this day five hair. Starting off with the shampoo, of course, I'm going to apply this right to my scalp to really get rid of any product buildup. And I'm also going to massage to increase hair growth. And as you can see, it doesn't have that much suds, very little bubbles, but I didn't mind it. So then I'm going to wash this out. And now we're going to apply the hair mask. This is also kind of like a deep conditioning treatment. It's very thick, and this is when I realized it spilled. Amazing. So it's super thick and creamy, and I'm going to apply all this to one section and really rake it through my hair so that every hair strand gets a little piece of the pie. Then I'm gonna apply some more and do the same thing to the other side. Now when it comes to slip, it actually did a very good job from like the top of my head to almost the bottom, and then all my tangles were kind of at the end of my hair where I had to do a little bit more work to detangle and break apart any of those knots. So I do have some hard tangles at the bottom. I like to bring out my Outlast brush by Goody. I think this brush is discontinued, which makes me so sad because it does such a good job of getting rid of tangles, but whatever, you guys can finger to tangle if you want. Then once I get rid of all the knots and tangles and my hair is beautifully combed out and full of the product, I'm now going to put this up and let it sit for 20 minutes and then come back in the shower. After 20 minutes, my hair is now super moisturized and this is the part where I'm doing a, you know, a thing that Curly Girls told me to do, which is to rinse with cold water. Rinsing with cold water is supposed to seal the cuticles and make your curls look extra fabulous. So that's what I'm trying out. I don't know if I'm seeing a huge difference yet, but I don't know, it's just so cold. It's so cold. The things we do for curls. And now the moment I've been waiting for to try these styling products. I've been so excited to try these two. So I'm gonna be starting off on damp hair after using my microfiber towel. Never use a normal towel to dry your hair. Then I'm grabbing the leave-in conditioner and I'm going to apply this section by section in my hair. I like to kind of flatten that out throughout my curls. I rake and scrunch and do this on both sides. And now I'm going to grab the Blueberry Bliss Jelly. I'm actually glad that they call this a jelly and not a gel because it doesn't act like a gel. You know when you put on gel, it usually feels kind of like starchy and your curls just feel kind of like I don't know. <laughs> it didn't give me that feeling. My curls still felt soft and this doesn't even have a light hold. Like it has zero hold and it just kept my curls completely soft. So I'm just gonna let this air dry and then we'll come back. Ta-da! This is how my hair dried. It did take longer than usual. It took a couple hours to dry, but as you can see, they are super shiny, very bouncy, and there's absolutely no crunchiness, hardness, or cast. Just very soft curls. And voila! That is how we got here to the second day curls. So now let's talk about where you can get these products. I personally always see them at Target. They're also available at Rite Aid, Walgreens, and CVS or their website, which is curls.biz. Another cool thing about this brand is that if you go on their website, they actually split up everything by your curl type. So it says loose curls and waves, curly, very curly, or kinky. And then you can click on your hair type and it'll recommend what products that they have that they think will work best for your curl type which is great. Before you go, you already know what to do. Hit that like button, the subscribe, let's stay connected. Follow me on all social media. And I post new videos every Sunday. So if you want more curly hair product reviews, make sure you come back next week. And I also have a whole other playlist, my curly hair playlist that has more product reviews for you to check out. I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.